Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a Wi-Fi extender by Rockspace. This, this is their AX1800 dual band Wi-Fi extender. And this is their model RSD0618. Let's look at some of the specifications and features written on this pro on the side of this box and then we're going to open it up and test it out. So on this side, uh, there's a bunch of features listed. Let's go through all of them really quick. So the first feature is that it adopts Wi-Fi 6, which is the latest technolo Wi-Fi technology. And this model can reduce network congestion at a faster speed and a larger capacity. It is compatible with um, these Wi-Fi standards. Um, this is, it's the 802.11 AX and the 802.11 A slash G slash N slash AC. It has powerful dual core processor which ensures superior perf performance for multiple devices working simultaneously. It has, uh, it is dual band compatible so that means it supports Wi-Fi com uh, speeds of 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequencies and can, the uh, speeds can reach up to 1774 megabits per second. It has intelligent signal indic indicators to help locate the best spot for a stronger network and it is equipped with two high performance external dual band antennas and um, so that it eliminates any dead zones. It has a LAN port, uh, gigabyte LAN port support for data streaming and it extends Wi-Fi range uh, directly for fast and reliable con uh, connections and the 2.4 GHz to 5 GHz WPS button helps to uh, extend the Wi-Fi co wireless coverage of your existing WLAN network within a few seconds. The AP mode turns wired connections into a 2 2x2 two two MUMIMO dual band wireless access point easily and it supports WPA3 wireless security protocols to ensure privacy security. Okay, so on the back we have some um, more uh, features in the picture of um, some application scenarios and how, what, what parts the product has. Um, right here and then on this side we have more specifications and what the package contains um, so we went over most of these um, yeah this is, these are some more information if you want to go through it but um, there um, I don't feel the need to go through this anymore. So we're let's look at the package contents and uh, inside the package you have your Wi-Fi extender, the Ethernet cable, and a quick installation guide. So let's open up the box and see what it is looking like. This is our Wi-Fi extender and it has this detachable outlet um, plug. Um, we have our LAN port cable and um, our quick start guide. Now let's look at some of the uh, prod um, product features and buttons right here. So over here you can see that we have the power LED, the WPS LED, 
2.4 gigahertz and the 5.5 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, signal LEDs. And for the power LEDs, there's like different um, blinking um, rates that will indicate different uh, things. For example, if it's a solid on, like a, a, there's a solid light on the power LED, that means that it's booting. And if it is a slow blinking light, that means it's like working. Uh, it's working like it should. It's working normally. But if it's like a quick flashing light, that means it's being reset or um, and it's ready to reboot. Reboot. And obviously, if it's off, turned off, there's no light. We have the WPS LED, and on means. It's the WPS function is enabled and off means it's not enabled. Uh, we have our two signal LEDs. The blue solid uh, light is that means it's on and the signal is good. Orange solid on means that the signal is weak and uh, off is that means that it's turned off and it didn't work right um we also have this LAN port right here on the side and we have some buttons right underneath the antennas on this side there's a WPS button and then we have 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz button and um, it, this can extend your Wi-Fi network with WPS. And lastly, we have our antenna. We obviously have our two antennas, but we also have this detachable plug that you just attach to the back side. And I'm going to try. Try to um, put it on. So to plug, uh, to put this outlet on the Wi-Fi extender, I was having a little bit of trouble with it, especially because it was not clicking, and uh, to me the instructions were not clear on the quick uh, quick start guide. First of all, they say that there's four notches when there, sorry, there's three notches when there's four. One, two, three, four. And then they tell you to align the notches and try to rotate it. Now, if you use some, like, you have to use quite a lot of strength for you to rotate it and press it hard. So, see that? I had to use quite some strength and I wasn't getting it at first, but a much easier way would be to just put this. This is like normally the eject button that lets you uh, take off the outlet, but you can also press this and then rotate until you hear the click um, to uh, put in the power uh, outlet. There is also two methods to connect this Wi-Fi extender and the first method is to connect using a Wi-Fi network with a web browser setup and the second method is connecting to an existing Wi-Fi network with WPS. I'm going to try one of them and then if one doesn't work the other would definitely work. So I'm going to try to see which one works for me and um, show you guys how to do it and how it is. The first step to using the web browser setup is first of all you have to plug in your Wi-Fi extender to an outlet and wait for the power LED to button to turn blue and blink slowly. Blinking um, slowly means that it's working normally. So we have to wait for it to blink slowly. So since it's solid, it's still booting. And 
once it blinks slowly, we can extend our Wi-Fi network. Okay, as you can see, that it has started blinking slowly. And now we can set it up. Um, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, to connect and extend your Wi-Fi network, you have to use either a computer or Wi-Fi, any Wi-Fi device and connect to rockspace underscore ext uh, Wi-Fi network. But if you're using like a mobile device, just make sure that you turn off mo mobile data according to the instructions. So I am in my settings of my phone and uh, I'm just gonna go to connections and Wi-Fi. And this would differ according to how your phone is. But I, for me, I have the Rockspace underscore 5G XT or the Rockspace underscore EXT. So um, I can connect to either one of those and we have, I'm gonna just click the 5G. Okay, so I'm going to keep, the internet may not be available, so I'm just going to keep Wi-Fi extension. I'm going to connect it. And now they're saying that um, there, are, if after establishing your connection, there will be a, a setup page that will auto automatically pop up. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to click on the Wi-Fi network that I have selected, which is my uh, 5G XT, and I'm going to sign into the network. So over here, they have our the web browser that you need. If not, you can uh, go into it manually um, using your instruction manual. And so I'm going to create my password click next and then they tell me to um, extend a uh, select a wi-fi network that we want to extend let's uh, click the 2g and this one Let's see, if for the 5G, I put down the 5G. I'm gonna create a password for my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Sorry, I'm gonna enter the password for my Wi-Fi network. I click connect. And I was able to extend the Wi-Fi and successfully and next what I have to do is move the Wi-Fi repeater halfway between our router and a Wi-Fi um, dead zone and um, so you use the LED colors to uh, help you relocate so if it's blue the signal LED is blue that means it's um, it's in a good position otherwise you would have to move it remove it if it's orange
Okay, I was locked out of my Wi-Fi extender because um, I think uh, it kind of somehow unplugged um, from my power outlet. So make sure your Wi-Fi extender is secured to your um, uh, power outlet, and I'm gonna relog back in and then relocate it. I also wanted to quickly mention how to connect using the WPS method really quickly uh, before I relocate the Wi Fi ext range extender and test it out. Um, to use uh, the second method, you would have to do the first step is similar, you just plug in and uh, plug it into an outlet and wait for it to blink away for the power button to blink slowly and to extend your network what you have to do is press the WPS button on your router and press the same WPS button on the side of your Wi-Fi extender um, and wait for the signal LED on the repeater to turn solid blue indicating the Wi-Fi extender was connection was successful and then all you do is relocate it um, and then you just connect it to the um, to the Wi-Fi extender um, ex under underscore ext so like it's the method is similar to here but um, you would use the same password as your router's password um, and that is it but in addition like if you wanted to connect uh, the extender to um, an Ethernet cable uh, enabled device um, to get even better signal strength uh, you can just use the given Ethernet cable or another one if you have one um, and just connect it to the extender Wi-Fi connection. So that is it for all the instructions and then I'm going to check out the signal strength. So I relocated my device and um, as you can see that it's ready to connect to the through the uh, EXT um, Wi-Fi network that we set up previously and what you have to do look for is look for the power button to blink slowly and look for the signal strength to be light blue so we are we were kind of, uh, connected to the 2.4 gigahertz and that's what the signal strength is light blue so now all you need to do is just go into your um just go into the Wi-Fi setting and connect to the correct EXT and you would be set. Okay, so I'm gonna connect to the 2G EXT. And it shows that it is connected. And that is how you connect your uh, Wi-Fi extender and this would be very helpful in um, very large homes or offices and I like the fact that now you, this device supports both uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz um, wireless networks and it is supposedly faster uh, and speedier. So thank you and um, this is that is it for my review thank you for watching